I am a preacher, a teacher, a reacher for syllables and symbols, and since I make my living with my words, I want my words to make a difference in the living of people's lives. I want them to break out in hives, or goosebumps at least. Not just sit in their seats saying, nice uh, sermon, pastor. That uh, has to be the last thing I want to hear people say. Nice is so safe. It comes from a place of comfortably, dare I say it, complacent contentment. I tell you, words once had power when not locked in that hour. I think of that day, what's the book of Acts say? Tongues of fire descended. The barriers were rended. Each heard the word in their own native way. And that is to say, this isn't a peon to community, some celebration of unity. Cacophony reigned. Any commonness feigned. Parthians, Elamites, Mesopotamians, and Phrygians still couldn't understand each other. But they did hear the truth, as if sisters and brothers and all kinds of kin, each still unique, yet united within. Oceans have many names, the Buddha once said, but they all taste like salt. So is it our fault that today we play games with the names and waste the taste that could nourish us all? Love is not limited by our primitive conceptions, the deception of separateness alienation. We are one nation, this world, a Mobius curled in and around on itself, not books on a shelf, one volume. Translated, restated, the taste of truth is freedom. So how do you hear this word? How do I? Don't get stuck in the why or the how, just listen. Now. The flames, they still flicker, the summons still sounding, despite difference abounding. Or perhaps it's because many people won love. Truth tastes like freedom.